Hey guys, you probably saw from the intro that this video does not have such a great ending. Like always, we share our experiences to hopefully save someone else from the same fate. Stay tuned to see how a few simple errors almost destroyed my new aircraft. We are about to stall and this is our adventures in and around South Africa. Good morning everyone, hope you're doing great. Today is a very special day. Back in December I bought a Slick 540. Now this is a bit of a beast. And I didn't want to just jump in and fly it straight away. And for those of you following our Instagram page, you probably saw a couple of pictures of this monster. I first wanted to get a few hundred hours in my Eagle and today I want to introduce myself to that beast of an aircraft and one of the things I do before I fly a new aircraft is I taxi her up and down the runway just to get comfortable with the aircraft. The Slick, she isn't one for dirt runway so I'm here at Fincham collecting my helmet then I'm off to Heidelberg where I'll be starting the process. There's the little beauty just the way I left her. Usually when you fly an unfamiliar aircraft, it's fairly simple. You get an instructor, you fly with him until you're comfortable, and you do your solo and you're off to go. With the slick, there's a bit of a problem. And there's your problem right there. Only one seat. So that's why it's really important for you to be comfortable with your flying ability and comfortable with the aircraft, and hence me going up and down the runway today just to get all up comfortable with the Slick 540. Okay, let's go for a few taxi runs. Gear prop. Let's go do a taxi run. going great and then this happened at this stage I had no idea the aircraft was on fire I simply lost my left brake immediately reduced power to vacate the runway and taxi back to the hangar still having no idea that the aircraft was on fire I assumed the taxi test was done and I turned off the camera a few seconds later, I looked down and saw my wheel spat was a boiling pot of flames. By the time I realized there was a fire, over a minute has passed and the flames were fairly big. I grabbed the fire extinguisher, jumped out and put out the flames. A second later, it reignites and I had to run to a building close by to get another fire extinguisher and put it out again. Only after using water, the fire was completely extinguished. With a broken heart, I pushed my aircraft back to the hangar, knowing very well that I was extremely lucky not to have lost my entire aircraft. So what went wrong? The wheel spat's purpose is to improve the aerodynamics of the wheel and the brakes, preventing air from flowing through them, and in normal operation, this is fine. 
it was about six degrees outside, so I didn't feel the need to remove them as I have done in the past. But with my repeated taxi runs going up and down the runway, accelerating and bringing the aircraft to a complete stop, I generated so much heat and with very little air flowing over it to help cool it down, the o-ring inside the cylinder deformed and I was now squirting flammable brake fluid onto the overheated disc. This resulted in what we saw in the video. Luckily, the fire was only contained to the wheel section. We already removed both wheels to be rebuilt and repaired. But how could we have prevented this? Number one, aircraft are built to fly, not for taxi runs. But if you do need to do taxi runs, remove the spats and give the brakes ample time to cool down after each run. We are also moving to a non-flammable brake fluid. Hope you guys learned something from this. And like always, dream big, fly high, live the adventure. Nia, ik vooral niet of je? Ja. Oké. Like always, we share our experiences to hopefully save someone and buy an Acer. Okay. Hey. So you know, first this can be work. Luckily, the fire was. Ah. <laughs> Luckily, the fire was only contained to the wheel section. We already removed both wheels to be rebuilt and repaired.